Hello Excel friends, this is Craig with Kershalton Advisory and we are on part 4 of the section 1.2 practice tasks for the Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Expert exam. Let's get started. Alright, so the first step in the section we're working on today is to switch to our Excel Expert 1-B workbook. And so I have it selected and highlighted here, ready to go. What they are asking us to do is to change the auto recover interval to one minute. So in order to access that, we need to go into the backstage, which is Alt F. Alternatively, we can select that with our mouse, the file button here. It's gonna be in options and the save section right here. When we click on that, we're going to change the auto recover information save default down to one minute. Now that we've done that, they've asked us to make a change in the range B2 to B6. So what we're going to do is change the discount rate here to 10%. So there's now been a change to the workbook and that will trigger an auto save for us. Now, while we're waiting for that to happen, uh, we'll discuss a little bit about auto save durations. So we've changed it down to one minute. That's not something that I would recommend that you do normally. What you'll find, especially with more complicated workbooks, that as the Excel prepares to do an autosave for you, it does take some processor power in order to complete that. And so you'll be working along and you'll all of a sudden notice maybe a little bit of lag or some of your calculations aren't happening as quick as you thought they would be. And you'll notice down here at the bottom of the window, you might see an autosave and a bit of a progress bar. So if you have your autosave going too frequently, you'll probably find it a little bit frustrating as it slows things down for you. So, you know, 10 minutes is probably not a bad rule of thumb to have it. It's not so frequent that it's gonna annoy you. Um, and it's not so long that if you do have a problem that you're gonna lose all of your information that you have had stored. And, and I think most of us who have used Excel for a while certainly have some experiences where whether the power plug got pulled out or another program that you're running has caused your machine to hang where you've lost uh, an active workbook and you've had to go back and make some changes. Uh, thankfully, with autosave, you can limit the amount of time it takes for you to get back and up to speed with where you're at before. So let's see if this has been a minute here. There we go. I think I've seen my clock tick over. What we can do is we are going to go back into the back office view or the backstage view and down into manage workbook. So you're going to see right here a list of auto recover options. And what we're going to do is click on this and all of a sudden it's popped up a new view for us. It tells us that this is an auto save version and we are going to restore it because that is what the practice task has asked us to do. So we will click restore, okay? And it's gonna overwrite our last save version and we are gonna be okay with that in this circumstance. So that is the last part of this practice task. Thanks for joining me here. The last thing I'm gonna do is go into the backstage view here into options and they've asked us to confirm that the automatic calculations are on and iterative calculations are turned off to help us with our next practice task. So we'll click options here. We'll go into formulas. We can see here that workbook calculation is automatic. And we can see over here that iterative calculations are not enabled. So now that that's good, we can wrap up this session. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you're happy with what's been going on so far. Uh, leave me a comment or a message if you'd like to see some changes or improvements or anything I can do to make it better for you. Thanks for your time. and We'll see you shortly.